In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the new factions in Age of Charlemagne. And yes, uh, you can play multiplayer battles in Age of Charlemagne. It's great. Although the lo rosters are very bare bones, it's good that we're at least able to get some fun out of it. If not, I would ask for a refund. So, what we're going to do first, I'm going to be showing the different factions, both on the battlefield. I'm going to be playing a few battles with them, going to run a few tests. But you can see how small the roster is. Uh, in b the base game, Total War Attila, I actually had to put the... I actually had, actually had to put the... Um, put it on large armies to fit the entire roster, but this doesn't even fill up a normal army. So for the Avars, starting with the Avars, since they are first, uh, you'll notice that a very heavy shock cab only has a 114 charge bonus and isn't listed uh, with an attack against cavalry. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate or not. Let's see here. Uh, actually, it doesn't say in the encyclopedia or in the mod I'm using. So I'm not entirely sure whether they d actually do have that bonus or not. Uh, we're going to have to find that one out. But they do have high melee damage, which suggests that they do indeed not have a bonus. Because, uh, And this is a good change, I think. That Shock Cab has a good charge bonus and also has a high melee damage. So some nice changes there. Low melee defense, lowish health. Decent morale, pretty slow speed, and some precursors here. Then we have the Levy Spearmen, and uh, spear units no longer have atrocious melee attack, it seems. There are some melee, some spear units with very nice attack values in the base game. But 20 bonus versus cavalry across the board for these spear units. Some nice armor, and let's have a look at the melee damage here. Uh, 8 AP damage, let's compare that to the... Well, the Avars own, have the Noble Swords, and they have 50 melee damage, so... Uh, th the, it seems to me that so far the Spears have a higher higher AP, uh, lower base damage, but not entirely sure yet. Then we have the Levy Archers. Ba basically, 100 health for all of these units. Like, there are no crazy health values for infantry units. And that's a big change. So for the Avars, we have Dirt Cheap Spears. We have some more cheap spears, and then we have slightly more expensive spears. And what you get out of that is you get a bit of uh, armor out of that. And you get some... Uh, some These tribesmen, it seems like they actually have... Uh, uh, they have quite a lot of ammunition, and they seem it seems like they are archer spearmen, these tribesmen. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, levy archers, 44 missile damage, 44. Higher than what you'll see from the... From the other factions. Uh, Over Lancers, nice speed there, can fire on the move with their precursors. Uh, 150 health, the same as the Over Guard essentially. So it seems like health has been standardized to a uh, big degree. Then we have the Over Horse Archers, 44, 25, Parthian Shot across the board. Over Noble Archers and Over Horse Masters seem to be a uh, heavy bow cav, sort of a hybrid unit. So let's have a look at what these units look like, because I've taken a little peek, and some of them look quite cool, I have to say. Especially the Danes, I quite like the Danes. They look very Viking. And they don't have any cavalry, which, I mean, this is a testament to the Creative Assembly knowing how much they fucked up in Attila, giving the Norse factions a healthy selection of heavy cav units. But this is the entire Avar roster. It's small. It's very small. Here we have the Avar Guard. Nice looking unit. The Levy Spears, a shit looking unit. The Spearman, a decent looking unit. Then we have the Tribesman, an Archer a Spear hybrid unit. Could be a very interesting unit to bring. Then we have the Avar Noble Swords, the Levy Archers, the Avar Foot Archers, the Avar Lancers, the Avar Noble Lancers, and the Avar Horse Archers. So, uh, Avar Noble Archers and Avar Horse Masters. Some of these stats combinations make little sense to me, but we'll see, we'll find out through testing. I've played some games and the pace is certainly different than Attila, but this was mainly just to show the Avars in battle. And they do look distinct, uh, they don't look like anything else in Attila, both in terms of color scheme and in th this faction has a certain um, archer dominance, where you have hybrid units, and I quite like that. So this is the Avars, and we'll do more tests with the Avars. Um, 
But I mean, you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 units in total. Very, very small roster. But if each unit fills a very specific role, that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because keep in mind that when you play multiplayer ba player battles, what usually happens is you'll revert to a core of the most cost-effective units, bringing perhaps no more than 4 or 5 different unit types per battle. Strength and armor. 